Atlanta rapper Lotto has just done a huge song collaboration with Jungkook of BTS, but some people of the ARMY have dug up some of her old anti-Asian tweets from back when she was 16 years old. Can she be canceled for this? And should she feel bad? Let's talk about it. Yeah, I mean, this went viral because Lotto and Jungkook, Jungkook and Lotto's song, Andrew, has 74 million views, Andrew. I know that you're a fan of that song, Seven. Yeah, no, it's a good song. It sounds good. I thought uh, both people did well, but I I can tell that they were not in the studio together working on it because they filmed the music video separate from each other. But right. anyways. No, it is possible that Jungkook and Lotto have never even met because nowadays this is the name of the game in the yep. industry in 2023, but we're going to get into that, Andrew. First off, we got to talk about the racist tweet she made when what? She was 16, 17 year old living in Atlanta. These are back from 2015. She said, just because I don't eat cats and dogs doesn't make me fat when she was arguing with somebody maybe that was half Asian or something like that. She said, you be cooking cats and dogs, Taekwon, Suki, Shu, Pu, Yu, Juku. <laughs> Actually kind of Yo, funny in a way, what? but yes, racist, racist. Funny. She also said, shout out to the plug Ling Ling at Tokyo Express. She stay hooking me up in South Lake. And then she posted a photo with her and uh, what looks to be an older Chinese lady who runs a takeout Chinese spot. Uh, yeah. So anyways, guys, we're going to get into the comments section. We'll give you our takeaways, our perspective on it. Should she be canceled? Should she feel bad? Or is this really not that big of a deal? Anyways, guys, please hit that like button. Check out other episodes of the Hot Pop Boys as we get into this from silly to serious. Dave. Where do you put this? This silly? is silly, man. But I'm telling you, there is a cross section of BTS Army fans who are also maybe, um, I don't want to say like Twitter activists or, yeah. you know what I mean? Like the cancellation crowd. Yes. And, and I'm not saying that they, they don't have anything valid to say. Like this is real dirt on yeah. Lotto. Yeah. Like Lotto probably should apologize for these tweets. I don't know if she will because this the, 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 the stir up might not be significant enough. But these were in poor taste. Yeah, yeah. Uh, anyways, guys, so I'm going to get into some quick thoughts before we get in the comment section. Um, I'm just going to say it. These are racist tweets. They totally fall under that category. So I'm not going to say, oh, they're ignorant. Oh, she was young. They're racist. She was young. She probably has not said that stuff now. I don't know the context, but they're not the worst tweets in the world. She wasn't like, yo, I'm about to rob Ling Ling at this Tokyo right, Express right, right. spot. She, she is her. smiling with the, the older Asian yeah, lady. Yeah, yeah, but no regardless not good to have on your twitter okay um also i do not think uh jungkook you know and her have met um also we kind of give rappers kind of like a hood pass or a rap pass you know what i mean like yeah it's more of a rap pass because a hood pass is more like if you're good in the hood but like a rap pass it's almost like you can just say wild things yeah. that an educated person is not allowed to say because you're a rapper. And I think we have to acknowledge that she comes from a different world than a lot of the people that are trying to cancel her right now. So I'm not saying it's okay, but I'm also just saying like, which standards are we going by? Because trust me, there's a lot of people out there with a lot of ignorant stuff on and, their Twitter. And even within hip hop, you know, there's such an incredible range. You could be like Kendrick, J. Cole, mm -hmm. and you're going to be held to really high standards, yeah. most deaf. You could be somewhere in the middle like Drake, you know, or even then you start to move towards the babies and then you start to get to the most ignorant which I would like blue face and I would say a lot of the popping female rappers right now like that one girl with the song pound town yeah. pound town you know like that's almost like blue face on the most ratchet end oh, of yeah. uh, strip club music or I something. mean not to mention obviously and this gives nobody a pass but Suki Hana she had some lines about being Asian oh my nani tight like an Asian eye ching chong yeah, anyways, guys, but anyways, again, what standards are we going by and what standards are we going to hold popular rappers to? I think it's fair to say that they should get checked. But anyways, let's get into the comments section. David, sorry, is it worth noting that she is 24 years old, she's Gen Z, and she is also biracial? Yeah, is I that mean, that's why she her original rap name was Mulatto. She changed it because people were, she said people were taking it the wrong right. way. So and she's already been through some kind of Twitter spat, at least early on in her career. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Like I said, hey guys, I'm not defending her. I'm not a fan of her music. I don't think she, you know, but it just is like, uh, it's, this is not an issue that I take serious, but I'm going to talk about it because other, uh, some people took it serious. This is a deal to me, but not a big deal to me. Somebody said the only reason Lotto collaborated with Jungkook in the first First place was because of money and to get a wider audience you know they could have picked so many better people but she was popping right now she had a lot of pop raps out and uh it just made sense plus scooter braun is managing bts right now it was an english song they want to get him more bigger in the u.s so it's just all an industry plant thing it's yeah. not like the old days where like rappers had to really mess with each other as homies no. to get the collab done you're saying that jungkook 
did not necessarily co-sign her as an uh, entire person or artist. They just got put together on tracks. Literally, it's possible they never even no, met. It's literally like she could have just made her verse, sent the audio over to the engineer that's doing Jungkook's song, and then literally they just put it together. And then they film the music video separately because yeah. literally they're not in the scene together. And then apparently there's an explicit rap English version of Seven where Jungkook swears. And some people were like, oh my gosh, that is so bad that he is being like American degenerate now. Like uh. BTS is known for like good morals and stuff. And now the Scooter Braun is involved. They're trying to make him appeal to the West more by being degenerate. Ooh, interesting, interesting. And then somebody said, but what if Jungkook is just maturing, huh? Why do you think it's just marketing? What if that's just what he wants to do with his life? Cause he's a grown man and he might be having sex and stuff. Oh, Jungkook is having sex? Next. No, but I get it. Of course, dude, the music that BTS makes and got famous for versus the music that Lotto makes is very different. It comes from different places and a different like message and a different culture and represents different things. Hell yeah. <laughs> dude, what if uh, Jungkook did a song with Sexy Red next? Oh, that my would be God. crazy. My boy uh, Brown, man. Uh, <laughs> some of the sad thing that she is, sad thing is that Lotto probably genuinely doesn't think she was being racist because racism against Asians is super normalized. Yeah. And then somebody said, yes, especially in the hood, ignorant comments are a normal thing. But then somebody came through and said, no, Tina Fey is a hyper-educated white woman who went to Northwestern, and she has a lot of normalized racism and stuff that she wrote, too. Yeah, there's racism from everybody, and there's ignorance from everybody, guys. I don't care whether you got a proper education or you got a proper education. I will say this, though. Like, uh, I think a lot of stuff goes on in the hood. Like, if you're from a certain community... There's oh, a lot man. of hostile little hostile words said about everything, not no, just to, race. To, and everybody to everybody yeah, else. Yeah, from right? everybody to everybody, men to women, little kid to bigger kid. It's like, oh, even somebody who just like has a big forehead or whatever yeah. f physical feature that is clownable or Let's roastable. just say they speak differently with like... You know, everybody's but yes, yes, it is true though. What it is saying, like, you know, you could hear like a Ling Ling joke depending on what zone yeah. you're in. Absolutely. And that yeah. is ignorant, but yeah, everywhere is different. Um, this white guy said, How come if it was a white artist, then it would be a racist tweet? But since it is a black artist, it is only considered a controversial tweet. Isn't that a double standard? If she was a straight white male, she would be getting canceled a lot harder than she is right now. Yeah, I actually think that the people who are trying to have a conversation about race relations in this uh, on this matter are not Lotto fans. They might not be even Jungkook fans either. Right. Like, I think these people are just coming in to say, well, you know what, if it was a white guy who did this, if it was a white girl who right. did this, the what ifs, of course, it would be seen differently. <laughs> I'm going to be honest, it would be seen differently. It would, it would it be. It would be. But you're right that Billy Bob has no idea who Lotto or Jungkook yeah. is. So, and, you know, it's crazy to think that BTS represents the Asian community and that Lotto represents the African-American yeah. community. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, again, I don't want to say everybody talks like Lotto either. I would never say that, you know? Somebody said, uh, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I kind of don't expect much from rappers. I can't think of many who haven't said or done something racist, sexist, or homophobic. This is what uh, this is a comment yeah. more from a, yeah. I, I think a BTS fan. I, or they, they have an anime avatar. Yeah, my whole thing is is like you know we reward a lot of these artists for being edgy and cool and saying these hyper masculine or sexual things yeah. that are on the borderline all the time. Literally, they either are offensive or they're borderline. Yeah, offensive. And whether white or black, we talking yeah. about Eminem or we talking about everybody. Whatever. Said, I mean, like, even if you want to go back to Johnny Cash, which was not hip hop, he's talking about getting in shootouts. Yeah, with the like that's just music. You know what I mean? Well, like, it's Western music. Because that, that, that has not been allowed in the East that's ever. That's true. You cannot talk about having shootouts with the cops, whether in a country song, a reggae song, or a hip-hop well, song in the East. Well, well, maybe this is why people like Afro beats right now, because it just sounds like a good time and it's positive. Yeah, I mean, listen, guys, a lot, uh, not all rap, but a lot of rap right now in 2023 is talking about shooting ops, yeah. okay? But, so. but and, and I acknowledge that, and obviously I'm tuning out of a lot of rap music right now, but... Not necessarily Lotto's music doesn't bother me, but I guess I'm asking, David, what standards are we going by? Because you have the cancellation crowd that wants to cancel people, but they're not coming from the same place that Lotto is coming from. Now, is it wrong that Lotto comes from this area and wants to talk about that life? I mean, if she's committing crimes, it's wrong, but like at the end of the day, if she's being sexual and just being her or being like little old her from Atlanta, born in Ohio, Columbus, Ohio, then yeah, I don't, I don't think know. she's that like, uh, violent in her lyrics but yeah so, for sure i mean it, it's edgy and it's very sexual right um somebody just said this these are comments from actually black fans 
of BTS that are also part of the black community, obviously familiar with uh, the hip hop world and Lotto's music. They were saying, you know, a lot of stuff that is considered like improper is really common in the hood. And uh, it, it, who knows? She just grew out of it when she was 16. Mm -hmm. Now she's what? 24. And she's right. just like probably past that. And why are you trying to cancel her now? Right. And somebody said, uh, yeah, listen, guys, we all grow. Uh, this is another comment from an African-American girl. And she was just saying, uh, Asians, you know, stereotype black people worldwide, too. So it goes both ways. I, I mean, I guess if we always want to use that argument, you know, yeah. I, I don't... I don't love that argument, but again, like I'm saying, like I, I, I don't, again, think that this is the biggest deal in the yeah, world. Yeah, yeah, I don't even think this is a big deal, but you're right, dude. I don't know if that Yo, is the best I'll like, tell you this: argument. If Lotto comes out to be connected to some type of hate crime or even any shred of violence or ill-doing towards Asians, then let that come out and let that be something. Right, but right, right. just kind of teasing people on Twitter at that time, I think she even said in an interview, I was watching an interview about her, name change from mulatto to lotto and she was just kind of like yeah i just i thought twitter was different back then man i hope people understand it's just different. i wasn't meaning something right. she was referring to that but maybe she could use that same excuse here an asian girl said she need to apologize and do some activism cancel culture ain't it but prove that you've changed and someone said do some activism made me laugh and someone said yeah she ain't gonna do ish and then somebody was just like Yo, what, what are you guys thinking? Like, everybody is like, oh, you need to do better. You need to apologize. They were saying, look at just the dynamics of who has the power and all the money here. She's not even going to ever address this. All right, so I have a question, David. Do you think it's fair to say that if this kind of like Twitter cancellation thing gets a little bit stronger, that this wave goes, that she should apologize, one, at least in a tweet, and just be like, yo, my bad. Like, I didn't mean it back then. I was young. You know, I was stupid. And also, should Jungkook also step up and say something because he is benefiting from her being on the song too. As much as she's benefiting from him. Yeah. I mean, honestly, what I truly believe is the actual probable outcome, if you made me bet money, is neither of them are going to address it. Yeah. Honestly, that's really what's going to happen. Um, somebody said, oh, I was on the age of the internet when I was 15 or 16, and I never said stuff like this. And someone said, come on, the human brain is not fully developed scientifically until the mid-20s, guys. Why are we always trying to cancel people? The second someone becomes successful, everybody combs through every single word you said when you were a teenager and tries to take you down from your mm -hmm. spot. I mean, uh... It's both valid. Just like you could tweet whatever you wanted to tweet when you were 16. Somebody is free to go back into your history and also bring it back up again, though, and rehash it. Um, she said uh, she probably thinks that only white people can be racist. And somebody said that racism comes from different racial prejudice, hatred, or discrimination, institutional policies and practices. Therefore, POC people cannot be racist by definition. Lotto does not have the power to do so. However, she can be racially prejudiced or discriminatory. Uh, so this is just uh, it turning into like more macro discussions. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't really. I mean, I, do you? I don't really want to get into this discussion of like, oh, can black people be racist or not? I mean, dude, <laughs> people can have racist feel. Anybody can have racist feelings. I, I, I think actually, when when people made this argument, I see where they were coming from. When the liberal professors were saying, yeah, uh, they, they're basically saying that racist and institutionally racist are the same thing. Yeah. However, to me, to they're say different. that. It, you have to say, no, I, I think a lot of people who do not run institutions, then it would be very difficult to be institutionally racist. But person to person, absolutely, you can be racist. I think there are different types of racism. Maybe we should make a video on what I, David, we should make a video on what we consider different types of racism because there's different levels. Just like there's different levels of crime. Right. They're all crimes, but let's be honest, there are different levels of crimes and different severity levels that deserve different punishment. So anyways, I, I'm just going to leave it right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Somebody said, um, man... Well, Someone said, okay. growing up in the hood, it was just so racist towards Asians. Is this just something that Asians have to deal with? Like, Asians growing up in the hood, and the hood is just, like we said before, a very hostile place against anybody. Right. Everybody. Like, nobody thinks growing up in the hood is, like, pleasant, right? Right. There's pleasant moments, though, right. and it really depends on, obviously, what tier of hood you grow up into. I mean, I would say this. If you've spent a lot of time in certain neighborhoods or whatever like that, you see everything. You see a lot of hostile interactions. You see some mixed ones, like ones that start off hostile and end up good. And you see ones where it is like, a, you know what I mean? Like a Romeo mm -hmm. must die, like type, like, you know, young Jeezy, Genie, my situation. You see that too. So I'm just saying, you see 
everything happen if you've seen enough reps. Yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? So it's not, they, 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 it's, but yeah, of course, yeah. It, it's hostile to everybody to, to be an extent. I mean, that's like a, a, a highly probable mm -hmm. outcome. Okay, David, some people do want to point out and we're saying that historically, and this might have been also when she was young, but she's also a colorist because she's always like talking about how she was light skinned versus like, you know, she was repping right. mulatto, which is she's actually biracial, um, not just light skinned specifically, she's biracial. Right, her mom is white. Yeah, and then also, I guess she had said some transphobic stuff. I'm not sure what. In yeah, what a lot form. of these comments actually came from African American women who right. were more familiar with the past. I don't think a lot of BTS fans, Andrew, to be honest. Knew a lot about Lotto prior to the song with June Cook. I didn't know a lot about Lotto until I did the research. Um, so I guess, I guess if she has a history, I would. I think that, uh, yeah, it is fair for her to come out and be like, hey, guys, right. there were some things I said when I was like 16, 17 trying to come up. Those were silly. I don't say those things anymore. I'm sorry, but, you know, I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to make good music now. Like, even the, if she said that, that I, would be cool. I saw this really interesting comment. Somebody said, why, why is it always so funny, okay, to make fun of Asians and nobody cares? Nobody takes racism against Asians seriously. And I believe a Latino guy came in and said, by the way, I'm from another country originally. One thing that I learned is that Americans do not respect any culture that is not popularized by pop culture. Mm -hmm. They only learn what they see in media, and they never open a book or travel to see uh to discover the 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 world on their own at least us growing up overseas we know our local culture is not popular right. so we have to understand american culture and our local music but we know that nobody else but us cares about our own music mm. he said that americans are so entitled that the american worldview is their worldview but growing up overseas they know that there's a duality of modes they got to switch through uh so yeah i mean I think the more popular that Asian culture gets or Asian artists get, I do think that there is going to be uh, less tolerance no. for this type of stuff. I actually believe, I actually agree with what he said, though. Yeah. Yeah, sure. America's kind of weird like that, huh? Because it's almost like, yeah, there's no, you don't have to switch off modes like if you're growing up in some small country in like Central Europe or Eastern Europe. Uh, David, this, this quote, if you do something and you become famous in 2023, many people will look through your past and try to dig up dirt. Yeah, I think so. Is that yeah. right or wrong? I mean, if you leave dirt on the internet for everybody to see, yeah, you're going to have to respond to it. I think everybody does. Yeah, but I think that people are going to make power dynamic calculations in the same sense that if this fur over this, uh, her 16-year-old tweets doesn't get too big, I don't think Lotto is really going to care. Right. I, I guess, David, wrapping it up, like, uh, what standards are we holding rappers to? Because we let ra rappers say a lot of stuff. And there's even this law, I think, in California where they said, oh, you can't use rappers' song lyrics to help uh, prosecute them in court. You know what I mean? Like, right, if they right, right. admit to crimes in their lyrics or whatever. I mean, listen, guys, I don't know. I mean, I think, it, it's, it's, really, tough, right? I think it's really complicated. I think that uh, if you look at... A lot of hip hop, obviously not all of it. It's like definitely super edgy. And I think you can argue about it's like actual long term impacts on society, whether it's negative or positive yeah. or did it uh, stimulate the economy or did it uh, incept a lot of people with, you know, uh, too ratchet of thoughts. I don't know. You know, listen, man, I'm not in control of it. I just know that there's a system in America where people monetize it yeah. and they encourage it. And yeah. it's, you know, and, and this goes for all colors too. I mean, like Eminem as well. Mm. Like not, I'm yeah. not like signaling out just African-American rappers. For sure, for sure. I think moving forward, as far as this lotto thing goes, like if other Asian artists see this and they look past it and they collab with lotto, then that's their choice. You mean and she becomes like the number one K-pop feature rapper? No, if she does, then that's going to speak volumes of how big of a deal people think this is. Now, you can get mad at your K-pop artist if it's, if Jin Min does a song with her right, or whoever right. else, J-Hope does another song with her, does a song with her, I'm saying like, then you need to still hold your artist accountable. If you're part um, of the army and this is your artist, then let them know that yeah, she yeah, did yeah. something wrong. Two, I'm saying like, a there's a little bit of responsibility you on- You need to add Scooter Braun or yeah, something. You whoever set it up, whoever set up the collabo yeah, with the Western yeah. world, right? Um, but also, I, th I think personally, I think she could fire off an apology tweet. I think it'd be cool. I think it would be cool for her to do that. If she cares, I would like, and and, and obviously if the Asia management has, cares I, I would too. like for her to do it. I think she could just be like, "Yo, it was silly, my bad." Like, you know, I don't say those things anymore. Or, or you know what? I would say could be a way to like hedge in the middle for her is like if she just posted something like pro Asian with her with the the Asian lady from the the mall if she right, still right. runs that shop, right. but without that's like saying something without really saying it. Right, right, right. Just showing support I mean, to the Asian. At community. the end of the day, guys, I don't really take. 
like even within rappers, man, I'm going to take like what J. Cole and Kendrick say more seriously than Blueface and or the baby says about society. And just like for female rappers, I'm going to care more about what Lauren Hill or Bia says. You know yeah. what I mean? Like not that you should be caring about what rappers say about anything, to be honest. Yeah. I mean, just like it for the music. Yeah. It's okay to say, hey, this rapper is uh, not as smart of a rapper as this rapper. <laughs> like, yeah. There's different types of rappers. All right, everybody, uh, let us know in the comments down below, does this bother you? What do you think Lotto should do? And should other Asian artists cancel her, like, out of, like, you know, cancel her and, off the list of people to work with? And how big of a deal is this really, or is it just existing within a very small cross-section of multiple Venn diagram layers of the BTS army. Let us know what you think in the comments section below. Keep it civil. And until next time, we out of Hot Pop Boys. We out. Peace. Peace.